I hate my shoulders and I love peer pressure. So here's what's going on. People on Instagram have let me know quite a few times that my paint job kind of sucks on the Supra. Like, I get reminded a lot. Now what they're talking about is the fact that this is just orange peel haven over here. And today, I'm gonna lose all my shoulder muscles in order to fix this. And it's finally time that I fix the paint on the Supra because this has been an issue ever since we painted it. And I said I would, and it's time to finally happen. So, there's really no sugar coating what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna pull the Supra down, clean it up, start with some 600 grit, and just go at it. So, let's get that down, let's get to work. That's pretty cool. You guys wanna see something cool? Check this out. I got pop-up headlights. They're up. Oh wait, that's still up. And they're down. I'm so cool. Now the sucky thing right now is there's so much sap that this car is actually quite a bit covered in sap already, which is annoying. And my only car cover right now is covering the Mitsubishi, which we actually might start to be able to work on soon. So, so we're gonna have to give this a good clean. Also another downer part is that I'm out of gas on my pressure washer. So I may have to go get some more gas first before I do this. But anyway, long story short, let's get this cleaned up. So we got the car all sprayed off. I'm not worrying about actually using soap to wash it because, well, we're gonna sand it. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna fill up a bucket, that bucket specifically, with water, and then I'm gonna go ahead and come over here, and since the car's already wet, I'm just gonna get to work. So we're starting with 600 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna start mowing it down, to be honest. It's gonna hopefully get this completely smoothed out or is smoothed out much better than what we have now. That way we'll be able to polish it and have a nice, nice shine coming off of it instead of seeing that orange peel consistently. So let's get that bucket, let's get some water in it, and let's just get to sanding. My shoulders are gonna hurt so badly. My right shoulder has become a rock and I gotta do this at least two more times, <laughs> plus buffing. So here's where we're at right now. There, there's some parts I didn't sand down just because I, I, I don't think they need them as much. And I'll be totally happy if all the up facing pieces and the main parts people are gonna look at are smooth. That, that's good with me. So I finished the 600 grit all the way around. I'm gonna rinse it off with this again. And then we're gonna go back to a thousand grit. Then I'm gonna go to 2000, then I'm gonna go to 3000. So I'm just explaining it now so that way you could hear me vent in between the rounds and cry. And, uh, and I think that's about it. It. I'm in pain, but it's gonna be so worth it. So let's go to the next stage. There is nothing in my life except for shoulder pain. I am near death. So here's where we're at right now. Everything has been sanded off. I sprayed it off. I'm gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes while I take an ice bath. But we got it knocked down pretty far. I'm not sure how well you can tell, but it's pretty smooth now. So we're gonna be able to come back with a wool pad and just start churning away at this thing because it's actually having a decent reflection despite not being buffed yet, which is a good sign that we got it really smooth. So, oh, I am genuinely in like, this. it's past pain. I just don't even feel my shoulder. It feels like this dead appendage stuck to the side of my body. I'm gonna take a, a good rest, come back once it's completely dry, start buffing away. So for you guys, it's like no time at all. Anyway, I'll see you in a second. All right, so here's the deal with buffing that we're going to use. We got a wool buffing pad here, and I'm using Meguiar's Ultimate Compound to go through. I did some test buffing before in another car using wet sanding, and the wool pad is definitely necessary over a microfiber pad because it just cuts more, and then the Ultimate Compound did the best. I mean, it's advertised on the bottle that gives you some drastic before and after, but it actually has a pretty solid cutting aspect to it. So I really like it a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and use that and the wool pad and just start churning away. So here we go.
first round done. It's actually kind of weird seeing this paint somewhat smooth. It actually makes me feel like I halfway know how to paint, which is not true. But anyway, you can see we're getting some pretty good reflection. There's haze on there that you can't see quite as well. But maybe if we go to the roof, it's, it's so tough to pick up on camera, but there is a little bit of haze left, but it actually is coming out really smooth. And I'm super excited that we were actually able to salvage that because before it was pretty rough. So we do have two more steps that I want to do. I think technically I could get away with just doing one more, but I'm going to do two. So that first step, we hit it with a wool pad and the ultimate cutting compound, which is a pretty harsh cutting compound. This next step, we're gonna use a microfiber cutting pad. So it's a less aggressive pad, but still has a little bit of oomph behind it. And we're going to be using the ultimate polish. Now this is actually, oh wait, this is liquid wax. I thought I had polish somewhere. I thought I literally just thought I saw it yesterday. Am I am I boofing? Oh no, there it is. Haha. -ha. Found it. We're using some polish. So this should help take out the haze a little bit more. Again, it's a softer cutting pad. And then we're gonna do another final step, which is gonna be a little bit of a buff and a wax, and then we're gonna wash the entire car again. So the final step is just to get that last smooth little cut off, and then we'll clean the entire car once again to make sure it's fully protected. So microfiber pad, we're hitting it with a polish again. Let's just knock out another layer. So very much a grind episode, but totally worth it because I'm, I'm glad we could just salvage the paint, I guess is the, what I'm trying to say. It's, it's nice to have that point where you come out of the paint booth and everything looked really rough and you're like, like, dang, I really like the color, but paint job looked kind of trash. <laughs> and then to be able to say, hey, we're putting in some work. We're actually being able to salvage this, salvage this so it looks like a halfway decent paint job. I mean, it's, it's, ah, gosh darn it. I wish you guys could see it better, but just the reflection just looks so much smoother there. It's, it's tough to tell. You're just not getting those waves that were there before with the orange peel. So let's get to that next step of polish. We now have even more gloss brought out and it's looking really good. There's just one more buffing step and then we're gonna go through the more official waxing steps. So let me show you what's going on next. The final buffing step, we're using Griot's 3-in-1 Wax. It has a slight buffing and polishing and wax compound all mixed together. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove any last light swirls. In addition to that, it's gonna coat the outside with a wax. Albeit it's not the strongest wax, but the reason that we're doing it now is because the spray ceramic wax that I like from Meguiar's will streak a little bit if there isn't already a wax layer on top of it. It just doesn't spread well initially the first time over, but every time after it does amazing. So we're gonna put this on and we're gonna use a finishing pad as well. So this is meant to apply wax. It's really soft. I used to use these when I detailed all the time, especially when I was using them for light scratches as well, just to finish up for a final buff. So they work great for that as well. So it's gonna be a perfect combination with the three-in-one liquid wax and buffing compound. So this will be our final step before we go to actually wax and clean up the car because there's a lot of dust on the splitter and stuff and the windows from sanding everything. Once again, every step just gets me more and more excited about how well this is actually turning out. This is this is cool. It, it's like a not only an exciting point to see, but it's like a big exhale where I get to actually say, again, whew, paint job salvage. So one more buffing step and then we're gonna go straight into washing and then we will be finished. Hopefully we can get it all done before the sun goes completely down, but I do want to get it now because it's that perfect temperature of probably like 65 degrees outside, complete cloud cover, not raining, so the perfect time to get this on. Let's get this finished up now and then I'll meet you guys after the car is completely cleaned up. After a few hours of slaving away, we're done. <laughs> it's getting a little dark out, so I'll show you a glimpse now and we'll take another look tomorrow morning or afternoon or evening perhaps when there's actually better light to see it. But here's a look, judge as best you can. I mean, it's red, it's shiny. <laughs> Orange peel is pretty much gone. So that's just like, strong exhale now we didn't do every single part because it's just like some of it i just didn't feel like was as necessary because it's not a part you look at as much but the main parts the hood anything facing up the doors it's all much much better there's some light light swirls still which is okay i don't mind too much but it just looks infinitely better to not have the orange peel on there so super happy with it so glad i could take a day just to work and get this done that feels good thank you guys so much for watching please check out the link down below philosuper.com to check out any merch that i have on there i have a whole bunch of sweatshirts t-shirts and more 
more like fanny packs and stuff that I spent a whole bunch of time designing for you guys. Just so please just go take a little time and give it a look. See if there's anything that interests you there. We got more coming for the Supra, the van. That that went so much quicker than I was anticipating just to get the lift kit on and it's registered and I've been driving it and it's been awesome. So still need to find a time to take it off roading. So there's just more coming. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Oh,